Okay, hey everybody, Patrick from HDRGB here again today. I hope everybody is doing well and thank you for joining me on uh, the video of the month, I, I guess we can call it now. Um, I just wanted to say to everybody thank you very much for tuning in previously and for everyone listening right now for the first time. I, uh, I appreciate when you guys watch and uh, comment on some of the things I show you and we get into discussions over it because it's uh, really helpful when making content uh, knowing what the, the, the best type of video to make is. So right now I wanted to do something a little fun and show, uh, show off uh, the Sega Game Gear. And very specifically, this video is going to be about two Sega Game Gears I have. One which was repaired, and the other one which was repaired and modified. Oh, and we got... <laughs> my cat is here in the morning, so... <clears throat> I gotta make sure he's happy before I continue. There you go, buddy. Yeah, that's okay, sit down. Yeah, so, we have here the Sega Game Gear, and... Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's such a nostalgic console for me. I remember having this thing uh, back when I was a, a little young kid and just taking it down uh, we we went to go visit uh, my, my family and uh, we went on uh, many camping trips and I had the Sega Game Gear with me and I played one game Sonic 2 over and over and over again uh, I had to bring multiple batteries for recharge and then when I would run out of those uh, whenever we stop somewhere I would you know quick charge I had a charger with me I had the AC adapter which I'll be using in the video um, and I just remember playing Sonic 2 so much Sonic 2 and that's pretty nuts because I had the I was a Sega kid so I had the Genesis as well and I had this exact same game on uh, on on the Genesis because I think when I got it it came with the game and uh, you know, uh, growing up with, uh, you know, uh, poor immigrant uh, uh, family, you, you know, you pretty much got the pack-in game and maybe one <clears throat> on Christmas if you really asked for it. Other than that, the collection wouldn't be even as, as good as an extended as it is now. So, um, anyhow, the, yeah, the, the Game Gear is a really cool system, uh, but playing it today has its limitations, and the limitations are, uh, they break down, so video, audio get degraded, powering becomes an issue, uh, they don't function um, at all in, in many cases, and when they do function, you realize how technology has changed and how really difficult it is to enjoy it for what it is, but also enjoy it for what it is when it's busted. And if you can get this thing original and fixed, or as close to the original as possible, that's what you want to do. So, you know, save for a few cosmetic things. Uh, the buttons, it's nice to clean them. Like, this one has really good buttons. Some of them are really dull, and you can replace pads and things like that. But once it's really worn out, it's hard to give it that original feel. But that just comes with the territory, you know. These are really old. This is from 92, 93. And uh, you, you're not going to get perfection, right? You're not going to get it. But this one's in good condition. And as we can see here, Patrick's cap replacement. So uh, I did the main board PCB. So I took out the old electrolytic capacitors. Uh, I desoldered them. I cleaned the board. I resoldered uh, new ones uh, with the exact same value. And uh, we did that for the soundboard. And we did that for the power board. And uh, that's what you know results in here. So what we should have is as close to an OEM system as possible. And when I say OEM, I mean original equipment manufacturer, like the day it was installed. Uh, it obviously is OEM, it's real, but I mean um, the, uh, the original form, the way it felt, and uh, the responsiveness of the buttons, the performance of the sound and the video, and, you know, the day one kind of shit. That's what I'm referring to. So we're going to try to apply, just uh, show off a game here. So, I mean, I guess any one of these is good. Let's go with Shinobi. And... Um, So this is what you would get with an original Game Gear back if you had this like me as a kid in 1993, 94, or whichever year you had it. I think it came out in 91 and 92, I think so. Okay, so on this one, uh, the original Game Gear, it has a brightness knob, so if you couldn't see it, right, you would just turn it, and here you can't see anything, and then here is... So it's not so much a brightness switch, I think, as it's like just glare or no picture so this is pretty much as good as you get yeah so we'll turn the volume up here new game so that's max val uh, volume 
and it sounds really good, uh, really loud, I should say. The music itself is, you know, the Game Gear is based on master system technology. It's not going to be the, the best, but overall, this is pretty good. So this is uh, this is what you're going to get when you play the original Game Gear, and it's it's fun. It's fun, but this screen doesn't translate well to to modern day. Uh, it doesn't at all. So it's hard if you, for example, wanted to capture footage. Let, let's say you know I want to make the next HDRGB video to be uh, a game uh, like talking about a Game Gear. So this is how you would traditionally see people filming it. Uh, this is this is the way that you know most people most of the uploads I think for Game Gear games are a camera over the the screen and then the rest of them I would say use emulation uh, which is why it looks really nice now unless there's um, a composite connector you know external that I don't know about I don't think there's an easy way to capture footage with a Game Gear in fact I don't know of any way that you can do it uh, so you would have to resort to emulation and that's all fine but if you can get that filmed off original hardware, the OG Mac Daddy from the day, no messing around, no fake stuff, just real game, real hardware, real life. If you can get that going, then you know you want to film that type of uh, video. And some great people created a solution so you can do just that. Now, for people that know uh, about it, I have here a Game Gear which has been modified, what's known as the McWill screen mod. Now we don't make these boards, we don't sell them, but we do install them uh, and we do labor work. Uh, we don't typically do it for the Game Gear, this one was just made for the purpose of being able to upload footage. And the way you do upload footage with this McWill screen mod is not only does it give you a sweet mod, but you know what, we'll, we'll get into it later. We'll get into it later. You know, there's a, there's a spoiler right there. Okay, but first, let's just say that the old one here looks good. It's nice, but this, is, this could be better. So this is where the screen mod comes in. Okay. Awesome game. So this is um, the Game Gear with the McWell screen modded. Okay. <laughs> when I first saw this, man, I shit you not, I was I was blown away. It's just it modernizes the Game Gear, and what the screen does is it gives you high fidelity. I believe it's an LCD uh, screen, uh, OLED. Sorry. You have to look at the details. I'm not quite sure. Check it out. If you, if anyone is interested in uh, the McWill screen, you can get them from various vendors or probably direct from the source. Um, we don't uh, we don't sell uh, very many of these game gears. I do have these two listed. These are the ones that uh, we repaired and and put up for sale. So you can check that out through our website. Email through there, hdrgb.com. Um, but I definitely just encourage if you guys have the soldering skills to go and do the work yourself. It's uh, just make sure you you know what you're doing because it's it's not an easy modification and it's really easy to mess up the board and uh, you know otherwise uh, damage more internal parts than you have to so only top level highest level creme de la creme of, of soldering skill uh, HDRGB has got your back and we uh, we don't mess around with that stuff inside so the result here is just a phenomenal screen and some of the cool features about this screen is you can cycle through resolution so if you hold one and two and start Let's see if we can get it. See that? The resolution changes. And it also adjusts scan lines, turns them on and off. So that's with scan lines. Okay, so now we've, you know, solved the problem uh, of not being able to capture decent footage with a with camera over it. Like if I leave this here and the next, you know, the video here is just about the game beer, I would say this is pretty impressive. Right, you guys watching it on YouTube, what do you think? Is this, uh, does it look nice? Or is it, uh, obviously it's better than the other, but I don't know how it shows up uh, on YouTube. Like, I can just tell you in person, it's night and day, um, filmed, you know, through the camera, then uploaded to YouTube, processed, and so on. I don't know how, how it is, but hopefully that comes out pretty well. Yeah, yeah, so really nice. So that's what we're dealing with um, with the picture. But now, let's say we want to 
upload this and capture footage. So what I was alluding to before, or being more secretive about I should say, is uh, the McWill mod has a feature where you can install the VGA port. And the VGA port is super duper because you can capture RGB and uh, send it through HDMI onto a modern display so you can watch it on a big screen and you can also put it up to your video card so you can uh, record it. And I think that that was the main reason I wanted this. Uh, and having VGA, now VGA is kind of, uh, I mean, it's not used as much anymore. Uh, this is D-Sub, you know, for computer monitors. But, I mean, I still have uh, VGA on, on some devices, you know, obviously mostly my older ones, but you can do it with uh, projectors, you can do it with um, uh, PC monitors, uh, old TVs that have a, a V-Sub. Uh, and though for the ones that don't, you can still benefit from getting RGB signal without having a D-Sub connection because you use something like uh, the open source scan converter, right? We know about upscalers. A lot of people have the XRGB. I, I prefer this one. Um, right here, we got this guy right there. So the OSSC is a very versatile uh, um, upscaler, okay? It, uh, it's not a, uh, just a line doubler, it, uh, it's, it's a true upscaler, it's powered, um, there's a lot of features you can do with it, and it has a lot of different connections. So for, for the people that have this, they know what I'm talking about, for the ones that don't, uh, this is what it is. Uh, so you can buy uh, upscalers from China, and uh, I do use those uh, for just the basic bare bones, getting them out, and uh, displaying an image purpose uh, that's better than composite, but there's upgrades, and you definitely want to go. There's a lot of cool products out there. I, I use um, a lot of them. Uh, this is uh, one I like. Um, so yeah, this one um, I bought from the the source, and you can you can purchase it from the website. Um, I believe it's Video Game Perfection. So shoutouts to them just because they they make a good product. And I know since then I think China's got a hold of it, so you should be able to get it on Amazon and uh, eBay from like various different uh, sellers and uh, so anyhow uh, this isn't a video about the OSSC but just briefly it has RGB in uh, component in you can have 3.5 millimeter audio in there's your HDMI out and then there's your D sub so what we can do here is I have the D sub running okay that's going out to the game gear we have the HDMI which is running into the screen capture the screen capture card and then from the screen capture card out right there's a big gold HDMI that goes to my uh, TV so I'll just take you guys through the process here and uh, I want to say uh, in the middle of this video if you guys are interested in this please uh, let me know like comment subscribe if, if uh, you're new here um, I appreciate everyone and I notice a lot of people come back and they like to see the new videos so that's that's really cool so Okay, so we're done playing here. We wanna we wanna move on to some big boy shit, right? So we got the VGA cable that we have connected to the OSSC. So that, oh, there we go, and that guy goes right in there. Okay, and then as we know, audio doesn't route through uh, VGA signal. That's just video. We can just grab audio from the original 3.5 millimeter. So we hook that up like this, and now the audio will disappear because it's as if you're wearing headphones, right? That's the idea. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my OSSC remote. I'm going to select number three to change it to VGA input. And I should get an image on my television. So before I pan to that, the brightness doesn't do anything here. Um, in the original one, the brightness will change that. that uh, well, I guess you can call brightness. Is that really brightness? Uh, large white light. And uh, with this one, it doesn't do anything. But if, in order to activate the VGA, you got to scroll it all the way down. So it turns off the screen here, okay? And it'll launch it somewhere else. So we got to get our TV. We got to turn it on, okay? So that's going to warm up. So again, we're going to turn it on, okay? We're going to move back. So remember, I have an HDMI cable that's running from the capture card all the way to my television. So we're going to roll to my TV now. Okay, there we go. Okay. And now, like I did, I'm going to scroll all the way down with that brightness knob. Okay. And there we go. So now we have Shinobi on the big screen. And just to pick it up, because I know there's, there's glare, 
So why don't we just close the curtains for a second. I'm giving you guys an in-depth look. And this is what what you're dealing with. This is the kind of life that we have now. We're so spoiled. I mean, I'm playing Game Gear, and you, you hold it in your hand, and you use it like a, like a joystick. Uh, well, I mean, like a controller, right? Uh, but it's cool where, you know, initially your eyes, your, your natural response is to put them on the Game Gear, but now because you have it on the TV, you get to look here, and it's, it's unbelievable. So cycling through the, the options uh, does some stuff here, and uh, you can choose the one that's best, but ultimately this picture is amazing. So okay, let's let's roll out of here. And again, that is hooked up through. I just inputted it OSSC, and that's an HDMI cable. So we're good here. So let's roll back here. Okay. Let's turn this TV off. And then again, to reverse it, we just scroll up. There we go. Now, the last thing I'm gonna go through is if I wanna capture this and upload it. So for example, for a YouTube video, and I, I really wanna know what kind of videos you wanna see, whether it's gameplay footage or me talking about the games. I have, I have some, I don't know, a lot of games, I guess, and, uh, I, you know, I don't really have the time to play the Game Gear, but if, if people are interested, I would definitely do it on, like, I wouldn't even want to call it a series, just put in a decent video, see if you guys like it, and I have a lot of these, these games I can go through, so. Let's say I want to capture it, so on my computer here, off screen, I'm just going to load up my capture device, okay, so, uh, my capture program, okay, so then now, I have it right here, so if I want to capture here, I uploaded, so here we go, we have this here, so now I'm going to scroll down again on the brightness, and that's going to send it to the VGA output, which again I have hooked up, and there we go. So now I can capture Sega Game Gear footage from original hardware in RGB quality, so this is going to look um, uploaded, I would say, probably like the emulator or as close as you can with the original, and that's just phenomenal, that's wow. So I can play the Game Gear, record it back here, so let me know what you guys think. What do you think of this video? What do you think of the mod? What do you think of the ability to just capture original uh, games on original hardware in phenomenal signal? If you want to see a certain type of video, maybe uh, gameplay footage with commentary, gameplay footage without commentary, me just putting it on a screen like this again and, and talking about the games or you know maybe something like a top five video but that that might come later because I want to make some content that you guys are interested in and I always want an excuse to play these games so be my excuse everybody watching thank you like comment subscribe to here on the YouTube and also on Instagram at HDRGB consoles. And if you're interested in getting any console modified, we ship out of Canada. We accept mail-in or drop-ins local in Ontario, um, but mail-ins from US, Canada, um, to basically modify the console for RGB signal, HDMI, and whatever we have going on. So if you want to know what's going on, please check out HDRGB.com. You can email from there. Otherwise, just if you're here for the videos, then keep coming back. And let me know what you want to see, and we'll do it again next time. Okay, take care.